uh, Saluther, what was the um, first school that recruited you in, in high school? And uh, just talk about you know your recruitment overall. Um, what were some of the schools that were looking at you? Some of your experiences with that. Okay, um, UCLA was uh, the first team, uh, the first school that uh, started recruiting me when I was in ninth grade. Uh, actually, eighth grade. Uh, you may go into ninth grade. Uh, growing up in New York, Albany, um, I was tabbed to be uh, one of the better players on the varsity team by the time I became a, a ninth grader. And the word started getting around the country that there was some phenom up in Albany uh, that could shoot the lights out and handle the basketball and uh, was way beyond his years as far as uh, his maturity on the basketball court. So they started recruiting me as an as a, as a eighth grader going into ninth grade. You know, you growing up in New York and everything, how did that shape the way you played the game of basketball with that you know atmosphere and all the great players you played against? Well, like you said, we had a lot of great players up there playing. And, uh, you know, if you get out on the playground, you know, uh, playing against that kind of co competition, uh, your game is going to go up. And all you got to do is watch some of the better players uh, play and go mimic some of what the stuff they're doing uh, in your practice schedule. And uh, before you know it, uh, you, you know, you're just as good as they are. And uh, it's just about just doing the practice thing from then on. What was the best player you ever played against, not necessarily in the NBA or college, but, you know, anybody in New York? Uh... Well, um, just so many of them. But, yeah, if I, if I had to, you know, put my drugs on, I would just say the, the best player I ever played against was probably Julius Irving, the doctor, uh, without a doubt. What was the greatest game that you either saw in New York uh, or that you played in yourself um, in New York? Um, the greatest game I ever played in was when I was in high school. Uh, I scored 50 points. Uh, I shot, I took 25 jump shots and I made 23 out of 25. Uh, the greatest game I've ever seen was I saw my all-star game with Julius Irving, the doctor, Austin Carr, Artis Gilmore. Um, let's see who else was on that team. Uh, it was a bunch of college seniors getting ready to go into the pros, playing against a semi-pro team in Albany, New York. It was a fantastic game, and there was a bunch of talent on the court. What to ask you this? Um, how did your nickname Tiki come about? How did you get that nickname? Well, uh, my high school coach. Uh, you know, when I was in eighth, ninth grade. Uh, I used to shoot the ball off the backboard and we'd go tick, swish, tick, swish, tick, swish. So they said they were going to put a Y on the tick and uh, maybe tick it because I've always used to make the shot all the time. So I became known as Tick. Talk about your experience with the USA team you know, playing for your country uh, back in the 70s with the World Basketball Championships. Talk about your playing over there and everything. Well, it was, you know, it was a wonderful experience. We had a talented team who was real young. Uh, I think we only had one senior uh, that was on that team. Uh, everybody else was uh, sophomores and juniors. Uh, I was a sophomore going into my junior year. Uh, and we had Quinn Buckner, John Lucas, uh, Rich Kelly, uh, Tommy Boswell, uh, Franco Liniak. Everybody on that team uh, eventually uh, end up in the pros. Uh, it was a real talented team. Uh, Gus Surratt, he was also in that squad. And at the time, you know, we just just wanted to play. And uh, I set a record back then that stood until this kid, uh, Kevin Durant, just broke it here just recently. Uh, lasted 36 years. Uh, and I started cherishing that record as time went on. Uh, when I did it, I thought nothing of it. But it just stood so long that people just kept on reminding me uh, it started popping up on, on, on internet questions and various other stuff that was going on and um, it became a cherished situation, but I'm happy for what he's done. It's kind of brought me back in the forefront a little bit, uh, let people know that uh, there was somebody who was a super shooter 36 years ago that, uh, you know, we didn't have a three-point line that could, you know, shoot the ball, you know, like this kid can shoot it now. What's the single greatest achievement or um, guest honor, award, anything in your whole career that you that you can remember that you that you got? Well, it's probably going on right now. I'm getting the opportunity to be able to give back uh, the wonderful game that I've learned how to play uh, back to the kids uh, here in the Winston-Salem area uh, to be able to get these kids and show them how to play the game, 
how to discipline themselves so that uh, they have life experiences that they can um, uh, fall back on. Uh, so I would say that that's probably my biggest achievement is what I'm doing right now. At your 44 point game performance against uh, Phil Ford against North Carolina, um, what did you ever think that Ford would become the player that he did become? or? Just talk about playing against him. Yes, I did. Uh, at that time, you know, Phil Ford was um, was highly talented. He was a freshman, and uh, he was the freshman player of the year. And uh, coming out of high school, uh, uh, like I, when I came out of high school uh, earlier in my career, coming out as a ninth grader, um, getting ready to go, you know, play your four years in high school and then go to college, uh, to be able to play on your varsity basketball team and play right away, and him being at Carolina, uh, of course, I knew he could. You know, he was going to be a player, but I was more experienced at the time. I was a junior, um, and at that time, coming into Carolina, I think I was the second leading scorer in the country, uh, averaging about 40 a game uh, at that time. And uh, I just had an unstoppable game at that time. And uh, him being a freshman, he just wasn't ready to, you know, cope with that kind of situation. And uh, I, you know, I took full advantage of it. The mid-range set shot. Um, is is it used as much today? Uh, you know, it's it's rarely used. You don't hardly ever see it. You know, all the way up from high school, all the way to the NBA. What what is your opinion on why that's kind of died out a little bit? Well, the kids have become so much more athletic than the kids are of my era. Um, we uh, didn't have an opportunity to, to dunk the basketball. They took it out because Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who was new out center at the time at UCLA, was dominating so much uh, as a freshman. Uh, the NCAA uh, felt that they needed to do some rule changes, and they did. They took the dunk out. So that allowed for us to stop mimicking the dunk, stop learning how to dunk, and went to just shooting jump shot, mid-range jump shot. We didn't have no three-point lines, so it was all conducive to what we were doing back then that made us really great shooters back then. If the kids nowadays would just take time out just to practice on their shooting, they could shoot like the good back then, but now, you know, kids are so athletic that dunking the basketball is a spectacular situation. The crowd loves it, you know, they get a thrill out of it. So all the kids want to practice on how to learn how to jump as opposed to learn how to shoot. You have a book um, that's being written about you that's about to come out. Do you have anything to say about that? Any details yet? Um, well, uh, it's got one more chapter to go. Um, it's it's going to be a marvelous experience for folks to sit back and, 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 and uh, get a perspective on how kids learn how to play the basketball game back in the 60s and the 70s. Um, I'm going to talk about a lot of things of uh, my practice routines, things that I teach over here at the Y. Um, and just some, some more life experiences that, you know, uh, that, that, that I was able to uh, uh, experience, you know, while I was growing up. And uh, we think this, you know, book is going to be a real good situation. Just wanted to ask you about, you've the scoring record for a basketball championship as far as points per game and everything. And uh, I wanted to ask you, do you know whose record you broke with your Tiki Burden? Have you ever heard of it? I heard that a couple days ago, but uh, you know, I'm just going to lay myself out there. Yeah. I just want to have fun, man. Uh, no, no, no. It felt good to bring the goal. I, I really don't worry about how many points I scored. I was just trying to win the